did you get into the country? Officer Williams, I can't talk to you now, okay? I'm tired from a long flight. Oh, did, did you hear that? The great criminal says he's in no mood to talk to me. He's tired. Talking to you. How long has it been, John? How long? How long since you stole seven million and you walked away with it? Five years? Maybe six years? And you dare to walk into my town again? Why did you come back? Why did you come back? You lost all the money? To gambling, maybe? You think you can steal seven million from my jurisdiction and get away with it just because you have a crooked lawyer behind you? One? Well, listen to me, boy. Not this time, let me tell you, John, because I've got my eyes on you. I'll be watching every step you take. If I were you, I'd go back where I came from. Because, John, I'm in a murderer's mood. And this time, your blood will stain the floor.
to call this meeting. But because I hope this garden is not a get together party. Um, Johnny, I want to know what this job is all about, please. The job I invited all of you for here today is worth fifteen million dollars. <laughs> what? <laughs> No, 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 Johnny, what are you planning to do? Tell Rob the Central Bank of the United States? <laughs> Come on. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Johnny, okay. where do you expect that kind of money from? Johnny, money printing is not my line. I thought this was going to be a normal bank robbery. Man, yeah, normal bank robbery. We're not printing any money and we're not robbing any. So, what are, you so what are we supposed to do? Pray for the money to drop from the sky? <laughs> oh, <laughs> sure. What are we supposed to do, Johnny? Yeah. That's the bullion van. Yeah. The bullion van of International Bank in Africa? Man, are you crazy? That's exactly what I'm talking about. That is where the money is. Guys, man. This is a joke. I don't think I'm gonna text. I guess I'll shit out of here right now. I, I mean, I should sit down, man. Are you out of your mind? This van we're talking about here is guided with two gunmen in front and up to eight gunmen behind. With an electronic signal detector that allows every police control in town to monitor its movements. This van we're talking about here drives at a speed of 120 kilometers per hour. I mean, how possible is that operation going to be? Um, so with that. Yeah, Johnny, if this vehicle is what I think it is, we might as well be wasting our time. Because yeah. at the point of using the van with the money, the whole place has about 15 gunmen. That's right. While at the point of offloading, they have about 30. That's Come right. on, brother. Brother, it's easier to, to start off a civil war than to rob the van. But what do you guys think? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you want to talk about something else? Please. Listen, we're not rubbing any van at any point of loading or loading. Rather, we're rubbing on transit. Johnny, <laughs> hold on and let me get this straight. The only time that van can be on transit is in the broad daylight. You know it. Never in the night. We all know it. That's right. So, yeah. I would think it be upright. That's exactly what I'm saying. We're rubbing the van on broad daylight. Oh, oh my God. God. Johnny, so sure. Johnny, 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 <laughs> spare me the bullshit. Spare me the bullshit, man. Guys, you know what I think? I think this is the most stupid the most ridiculous idea I have ever heard. Robbing 15 million dollars from one of the best security vans in the country in the middle of the street. And in then broad daylight, oh come on. Don't you guys think somebody's in, I mean, is insane here? Yeah. No, <laughs> <right. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and classic, I am not going to be a part of that insanity. You know what I intend doing tomorrow morning. The yeah. first thing, I'll simply pack my luggage and I'll check out of town. <laughs> Is that all you have to say, Vic? Just that, brother. But I'm sorry to tell you, Vic. You're a man of little faith. I don't give a damn, man. Vic! You still haven't changed. You're faithless! Johnny, this has nothing to do with faith. It's all about reality. Have you heard about the concern? Citizen Association of this country? Johnny, what Malik is trying to say is this. The general public are not going to be watching you clapping their hands while you magically rob the van and brought their life. Oh, yeah. Hey, besides, there are police patrol vehicles parked around town. That's right. So, <laughs> come on, baby, what do you want them to do? <laughs> Stop around and ask for your autograph because you're one motherfucking Oyenusi. <laughs> Nigga, please! Nigga, I'm on my toes! That's very good. That's very good. That's the problem with you guys. You guys think that 
Everything is impossible, man. But don't you ever forget it. But I am the good old Johnny. Now, if you guys would look at this picture here. And by the time I finish explaining this deal to you, please, and you are not convinced that it is a possible deal, then first thing tomorrow morning, I'll be most willing and glad to ask Victor to see you all down to your various homes. Listen. The van leaves the vault at 8 a.m. in the morning after loading the plane. They drive at top speed of about 100 and 120 kilometers per hour. They have six guards. They will be a full siren. So these are the routes they will be following. Our chance of snatching the van lies right here on Victoria Street. Victoria Street is an isolated street. Hardly does anybody use that route. And that's why the van chose that route. The gap between the van and the guards should be about 20 to 25 to 30 meters. So. Here's the main plan. Mark. Malik. Victor. Collins. We go for the most of the line. James. I'll be ready with you, bro. Yeah. Dan. My name is Johnny. Duty calls. Fifteen million dollars. If you're in the game, how do it? Let's stand up. I'm in, I'm in, man. 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 I'm I can handle the electronic device in 60 seconds and uh, mechanical grid in six hours. Uh, but using the explosive we used in the last job, I think I can perform some magic. Beautiful. Uh, I think we need. I think we need a fast-running vehicle. Yeah. And a motorbike. Right. Um, Johnny, I will uh, went to the Maliki. Malik, my main man. It's all good. All right. And so, then, um, the security agents, from the way they look, it's like they're not expecting anything. And I tell you, by the time we hit them, it's going to take them a long time to recover. It'll <laughs> be cool, cool. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, <coughs> Johnny. Good. What Johnny. up? Um, 
Gentlemen, your strategy is good, but I think we should be more careful about the security men from the station wagon. Now, supposing they recover first and engage us in an open gun battle, what you guys think? Yeah, I know, guys. Uh, we could yeah. we could handle that. Yeah. That's where me, Malik, and Mark come in. You know, we are all snipers exactly. and experts when it comes to gun bottles. You know, so. Let them come. Any further questions? Yeah, one last question, Johnny. What up? What about the money? Yeah. What yeah. about the money? Yeah. Right. Right. How and when do we split it? You take, you take. Don't forget the saying that says it's better late than never. We don't have the damn money, man. We have the money. God damn it, we'll do what we want with it. But we don't got it yet, so until then, may God help us all. Amen. 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 So, you know how it is. Oh, damn. Time now, get in my face, nigga, do you mind? I got something to do tonight, yeah, that's right. I got money to make, I gotta make it tight. I'm just waiting with my crew and we getting hot. We don't care what it takes, it's suicide. We don't care if it's blood, they lie to us. We gonna rub that back. John Colifer. <laughs> hmm? Officer really So. <laughs> Thanks for the compliments. But Officer Williams, don't you have any other thing to do than follow me around all the time? What else could be better for a police officer than to follow shameless, devil in disguise, criminal minded people like you all over town, arrest them, lock them up? Throw the key away and have him locked in jail! Tell me, John! Officer Williams, I think you have a big emotional and attitude problem. Emotional problem? Get out. Listen, why don't you see a doctor before it gets out of hand? You, you John, talk to me about emotional problems? How much emotional problems did your father give your miserable mother before she died? You tell me that. Fuck you, Officer Williams. Who the fuck do you think you are, huh? How much emotional problems did your daughter have before she committed suicide? You! Me again, man. I swear to God, I'm gonna hit you back. And you get out of here before I get you arrested for fighting the police officer. Fuck you, man. All this innocent? That's the rule. The rule says that every individual is deemed innocent until proven guilty. And I play by the rules. You don't know what you're talking about. 
Oh, you're an idiot! You say this is innocent? Come on. Innocent, you call this? Innocent? What is going on here? What is going on here? 
Yes. Uh -huh. The signal should be chasing is coming from this car. This How come you have a signal? Mr. Honda. Honda. Uh, look at this. What is it? What is, what is it? What is this? What is this? And what is this going on your car? Who are you? I'm Magnus Udeze, the banker. Ma Magnus, you're a banker. Oh, yes. Sir. And you do not know what this is. I don't know what it is. Mr. Udeze, you have a right to remain silent, or anything you say will be used against you in the law courts. You will go with my men to the station now. You will write all you know about this. Now, you, ride with him. You, come with me. Go back in your van. Yes, sir. Move it! Ourselves, fifteen million dollars, and all you did was die. You have always wanted to die rich. With fifteen million dollars, I must say, you died a rich man. I never liked you, Paul. But all the same, I must say, you were great, always reliable. Mark sent his respect. As usual, he's taking care of our security. I guess it's not for bad after all. The fewer we are, the larger my share of the money. Right? Malik.
Come here, come here. Move, move for that side here, side here. Wait, wait. Wait, it's better than John Collipa. John, you think you're free, right? John, it's not over yet. I tell you, it is not over yet. You stay around in town, okay? This is just the beginning. There is no point chasing shadows, officer. I can always, and we always stand to prove the innocence of my clients. He has done nothing. You? Yes. You are nothing but a disgrace to the legal profession. You gangster lawyer. You may have gotten him off this time and other times, but I tell you, by the time this is over, you are going down too. Well, no, you going down, not going down. But I'm quite glad that you could recognize the fact that I have been able to prove his innocence a number of times. It is about time you treat me with some respect, Officer Williams. Respect? I'd rather respect a pig than you. And as for you, John, that goes for the rest of your game. Don't you go spending and losing. I'm coming to get that money for the owners. Hear me, John! Officer Williams? Your word is in here. Why do you find it difficult to differentiate between fantasies and reality, huh? with 15 million dollars in broad daylight. Listen, 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 listen. If there's anyone who can snatch such a highly and electronically secured van with 15 million dollars in it, it is John Colliver and his gang. They killed my man and now they snatch this van in broad daylight in my state. That is a personal insult to me. The only place that van can be now is in a house somewhere or a warehouse. Our roadblocks all over the state say this van has not crossed the state borders yet. So, I want a 24-hour door-to-door check on all the houses and buildings that are large enough to contain that van. That's right. I want a spy check on all the banks. On all the currency exchange houses, warehouses, yes, on all the car dealerships. That money is going to turn out somewhere very soon. I want to take it when it comes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
mean, you all learn, guys. Damn. Now y'all listen and listen up good right now. I don't give a damn where you're from or where you're going to with whatever you got. But what I've got to tell you now is as important as what we did and gotten away with. First thing, I don't want you taking any of these monies into any banks. The police are there watching all of us all over the country. Secondly, you'll be very, 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 very careful. I don't want no one buying your expensive cars or big houses or whatever it is. Third, I want you to get it straight into your heads. You're not traveling anywhere out of this country. If you're doing that, you're doing that at your own detriment. The immigration officers out there, man, women, are all police people. They're gonna get you and they're gonna roast your ass. I don't want you to go to no Buru to change. You don't change no dollars into no other currency or denominations. You all get that? And finally, but not the least, Mark is not here. I've got a share of the money here. I drop it off as a security post. But there's one other thing. I want you all to know that we have to keep a low profile. We leave a no more lives like nothing happened. We don't know nothing. I don't want you attracting any attentions. Remember, y'all, take this money and hide it wherever it is. I don't want to know where it is. Don't tell me. Just make sure it's as safe as possible as can be. Do the right thing. All right? All right. Anybody? It goes contrary to this agreement. Remember, you fuck with me, you fuck with death. I swear to God, I'll personally kill that person myself. Gentlemen, let's get out of here. Never suspected it. The only people who could have done this kind of job is the John Colifer gang. Is there anything there? It's empty. They may have the money, but they will never spend it in this country. Never! And they will not live with it. The dawn of the underground wants to see you. This is dawn. Maybe when we get there, you know him better. Get into the car. Get into the car! There's a need for us 
to be united. You understand? We are our brother's keepers. You understand? That is what. Ah! Look who is here! Little Johnny! <laughs> My greetings. Don't let me know. With due respect. Look at you! My little boy! Who used to worry me about Christmas presents? Oh, uh, birthday presents! But since your father died, you have refused to come to see me. Times have changed, Don Emilio. Business keeps me very busy these days. Nonsense! What business? <laughs> you steal occasional five or six million from a local bank and you jet off to Europe to spend it in hotels with women? Huh? Chicken feed, Johnny. Your father, before he died, was a big time. He was my friend. And I had a lot of respect for him. Yes. He so trusted that you would do better. But you are so feeble-minded. When I was your age, on my first job, I made ten million dollars. Yes. Your father was my most trusted gunman. But you chose not to be part of my team. Rather, you go around with what you call the Qualifiers Gang. Hmm? I wish you all the success. I quite appreciate your concern, Don Emil, but my father lived the rest of his life working for other people. I am my own man now, and I play my own game. And to you, young man, it's just a game. Hmm? Let me introduce you. Here's Francis. Mendoza. Oh, Clemenza. Silvano. As children, they knew your father. They are all my friends and I respect them. Now, they all have their different territories of business. And we have rules. It seems that you have broken one of our rules. I, I, I don't blame you much because you have just come back. You've not been around for a long time. So, Johnny boy, we are here to make amends. What rules have I broken? I don't have any trouble with anybody. Uh, Johnny, the job you did two days ago is Mendoza's job. He and his boys have been planning that job for close to five years. And they were almost ready to do it when you came out of nowhere and snatched a $15 million job from him. I don't understand, Don Emilio, what are you saying? Divide that money into three equal parts. Give two parts to Don Mendoza and his boys. And you keep one part for you and your boys. Brothers! You all men are all out of your minds! What do you think I am, huh? An idiot. Or maybe you think, uh... I'm like my father and stupid as well, huh? But let me just tell you all something right now. If you fuck with me, you fuck with death. You capish? You understand? And that's for you, Mendoza. You can go to hell! What do you think you are, John? I know you, John. You are nothing. Fucking nothing! That was my job. We had an agreement. Watch you come into my territory and do my job. You are playing with fire! Mendoza. Oh, you really know how to make noise, don't you? Don't think of it. How can you prove that I snatched Yeah. 
out of my life. Guys, man, we shouldn't be seen together, man. God damn it. What, what, what is the matter, Johnny? Are you running scared or you're just getting old? Cut the bullshit and let's get down to business. Johnny, your boy Van is fucking up big time. Yeah. I think you sure made a mistake bringing that boy into a man's game. What's all this about? Hey, Johnny, Johnny, I told you all agreed not to spend our money until the police cools down. And now your boy, Danny, the boy you lost so much, bought himself a nice house and some podcasts, Johnny, huh? Not only that, Johnny. He's having a party, a little party. You call that? With me? ladies in his house now. The fucking son of a bitch is having a party in his house, Johnny! I don't care if your mama or your papa didn't give you a good upbringing, we're back at home. And we say this party is over. Says who? For Says what? me. <laughs> Brothers! 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 How are you? Victor! James! Hold myself, but I couldn't keep away from the money. 
money. Man, it was like, it was like having sex for the first time after all my years in jail. Jolly man, Jolly, look at me. Jolly, look at me. I'm not like you, man. I've never been so happy all my life. Remember what you called me the other time? A small time, competitive. Yeah, that's what I am. All my life, I'm still in occasional 10 to 20,000 naira. But for the first time in my life, Johnny, Johnny, for the first time in my life, I touched $2 million. Two fucking million dollars. And they were all mine to keep. All mine. But Johnny, I tried to stay quiet like you said. But what am I supposed to do? I grew up hungry, homeless, and wretched. But take a look at this place. I finally have a house of my own. I needed this all my life, Johnny. I needed this. It's all good. And you bought yourself a nice car, too. Yeah. I have a car now. I bought myself a beautiful car. What? I got myself a car, a beautiful one. <laughs> and you like it. Dan has gotten himself a nice little car. Hey, listen, guys, come on. Why don't we um take a nice Little drive with Dan in his nice little car. Come on, no, Johnny. What up? Johnny, it's not a little car. Really? It's a big, wow. It's a big and beautiful world. What are you, you telling like, me? You like it. Johnny, see, I've always wanted this oh, in so my let's life. Let's check it out. I just... What about the girls, man? I got this girl for you. I got two girls to myself. What with a big booty. That's the one I want. That's the one I want. I know you, Johnny. Sure, get to, You know how it is. Hey, guys, come on. who this guy was and who killed him uh, from the records that we have and what we found his name is Daniel Badmos uh, he was in jail once and was released just two years ago this house was recently bought and the car uh, newly acquired from one of the car marts in town it may also interest you sir that this guy is a member of the John Carlifos gang it's like he had a party here yesterday before he was killed. A convicted armed robber. Hmm? Released not too long ago. Just suddenly buys a house. Like this. 
and such an expensive car. Are you following me? You yes, know sir. Me? Yes, sir. Where did he get the money from? Where did he get it from? I don't know. Uh, we've searched the whole house and nothing was found. Just in case you were thinking that he stole the $15 million. Uh, listen, listen. $15 million was stolen. That's right. Mm? And all of a sudden, a member of John Colliver's gang was murdered like a pig. Mm -hmm. mm? Look, somebody knows who killed this guy, and John Colliver is going to tell me. There's no escaping me tonight. Nobody fucks with Don Mendoza. That 50 million dollars is not from the bullion bond belongs to me. My man was supposed to do that job. I have been planning for that job for five years now. And all he did was prison to do my job. John, are you listening? You have only one way out. Your friend is dead. And you and others will end up the same. Except you hand over. 75% of the whole money as advised by Don Emilio. John! I'm going to get you. He's not I'm there, Mr. Mendoza. What do you mean he's not there? John! I'm going to get you. You hey. can't run from me. You can't run from me, John. You can't run from me. See him at the clubhouse. Anytime the endorser wants to hide, he goes to the clubhouse. The thing is that nobody can get down at the clubhouse. This time around, boy, he's wrong. You know what I mean?
What do you want from me? Who sent you? John, it's you. <laughs> Made do, sir. Hmm? You were right. I couldn't run away from you, you know? Come to think of it, why should I run away from you, huh? You think you can go around ordering me on what to do? <laughs> you were slow on that $15 million job, man, Dosa. I was faster, man. <laughs> you had five years planned for that job, but you couldn't make it. I will, God damn it, you just gonna make it, Mendoza. <laughs> now you wanna feel like a king, huh? Please, John, you made a point. Keep the money. You know you of course I'm gonna keep the goddamn money, man. <laughs> Fifty million beautiful dollar bills, God damn it, Don Mendoza. Did you think I was planning on sharing that money with you? This game is all about survival, Don Mendoza. No one's the king of the street. No one. I warned you.
get in the fucking car. Get in. I'm not going nowhere. Get into the fucking car. I'm going nowhere. <laughs> move in, move in. Ah. Get him. Ah. Oh, man. You know how I 
John, keep your hands in the air. I want you. One more moment, you're dead. I want you dead. I want you, John. Going my shopping here. Money, money, but they like robbery. Got me itching for the money, money, money.